I grew up hearing that magic was a terrible thing and should be avoided. But I grew out of that. Keep watching to find out what made me change my mind. Hey, I'm Kyla Denayo and welcome to Kyla's Book Day. No, <laughs> Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about magic. Big magic. This is my favorite. <laughs> It's an incredible book. It really is incredible. And I switch off between the audiobook and the actual book because it's just so good. So we're going to get into why I really love it. But first, let's make sure we cover all the segments of Kyla's reading day. I'm going to share the author, Elizabeth Gilbert. And if you're not familiar with Elizabeth Gilbert, she is the author of Eat, Pray, Love, which was a huge smash hit. And a lot of people didn't realize that she wrote books before then and she wrote books after that. The genre of the book, which is nonfiction. The main theme of the book, which to me is the actual tagline of the book, which is creative living beyond fear. That is the big theme and the big topic of the book. And one of the big quotes or twists from the books is from page 258. And it says, fierce trust demands that you put forth the work anyhow, because fierce trust knows that the outcome does not matter. The outcome cannot matter. And the next segment is, would I read the book again? Yes, I would read the book again. I absolutely fell in love with this book. When I first read it, I was daydreaming and brainstorming about creating a podcast. And now when I read the book, I think about other situations where I could be creative, but I'm living in fear or I'm fearful of the result. And every single time I read the book, I see something new, I catch something new and it pulls something else out of me. So yes, I would read the book again. Yes, I have read the book multiple times. Okay, and lastly here, why was this quote or plot twist so important to me? The fact that the outcome cannot matter when you're creating is so important to me because I am a planner. I like to know what's gonna happen. I like to know what I can prepare for. I like to wear shorts, but bring an umbrella just in case. <laughs> and the fact that the outcome cannot matter when you're creating gives me permission to put forth the work to create the thing just to create it. Creating can be the only goal. So whether or not this video or the next video or the 200th video, the point is that you have to have fierce trust when you are creating. And that fierce trust will make me share these books with you every week on Kyla's reading day that fierce trust will make me put forth an effort and put this content out into the world because I love the book and you could read the book and find something completely different, right? This quote is from page 258. So there were 257 pages before where you could have been inspired by something and I was as well, but this quote just absolutely jumped out at me. I have it underlined in the book and it's just, it, it really, really stirred something up in me when I read the book this year. Remember, I read it every year. So I hope you enjoyed today's entry for Kyla's reading day. That's what I was reading this week and that's what really inspired me. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know if you've read Big Magic because it's out here. Magic is all around and I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I will talk to you later.